When did I first meet Sonia? I remember it very vividly. We were at the Greystone Mansion in Beverly Hills. She was presenting an opera outdoors, Suara Angelica, and I could tell from the first moment, she's a doer, she's a maker. This woman creates spectacular situations for the audience and the orchestra, and I knew this would be a very exciting, vibrant relationship to come with Sonia. Well, you know, we just were getting to know each other, and she told me about her dreams for the orchestra, actually talked to me a little bit about the work of the orchestra, but more importantly talked to me about her, her work with, uh, with young people and wanting to bring music education and access to cultural activity um, to a group of kids that we are really concerned about at our foundation. So that's, um, uh, that would, we had as a result a lot to talk about because we were interested in her work and she was obviously interested in support from the foundation. So it's been a great partnership. Sonia is an amazing conductor, an amazing human being, and she's doing a great job for the Los Angeles community, bringing music at very affordable prices to all of us, and also helping our children to know a little bit more about music. I'm so appreciative of her tremendous passion for the people she serves and for her desire to build a truly lasting institution. Not only does Sonia conduct her orchestra, but she's also now purchased a building and runs a summer camp and is truly embracing her community in wonderful ways. I wish her the best for her future success. I think that she's motivated by a desire through her, through her DNA. The way she's actually, the way she exists, I think, is to help others and especially to help children uh, and families and I think she's motivated to share with them what she knows about the power of music and art and how that can transform a life and give a sense, a sense of inspiration that otherwise wouldn't be accessible unless they'd been exposed to classical music. I think she understands the magic of classical music and how that can help others not only with her extraordinary performances, the concerts of the Santa Cecilia Orchestra, but also her dedication and her creation of the Discovering Music program. With that program, she sends us individually, one-on-one, -on -one, into the classroom, right into the students' environment, where we perform classical music for them, we educate them about classical music, and then Sonia has created a program where she gives them free violins, free violin lessons, a free string orchestra within which to play, that's empowerment. It's more about letting children know that they can, they can just blossom. And when you listen to the music and everything that people do, but you know that it's the conductor who made sure that that clarinet came in at the right point and that, that piano played it just perfectly. She's the boss, and uh, so it's great to see it. I think she, she lets children know that they've got the energy and the power to do what they want in their hands. They just got to want it. Sonia has, over the years, taught me the importance of providing access to things like music education to the kids that she works with and how that translates into uh, 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 wider educational gains for these kids, a greater appreciation for um, for things around them, and that's a that's a message that is is very important, and we have used that um, to support other programs similar to uh, Santa Cecilia Orchestra. She's that perfect role model because she doesn't try to tell you that she's big and bad; she just shows it. 